This is the real Tom Rosen. This is a really tricky problem. It's um, it turns out that it's fairly straightforward to uh, to solve it once I give you the the trick for how to do it. But what's tricky about it is um, is proving that you have the right answer. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So they give you a function, and it's a function that's based on x, and they tell you the uh, the domain of x, which is somewhere between three and five. Right, but they, what they want to know is what possible values of f of x can result from that. One way to evaluate this, and a nice heuristic for solving these, is let's just take the lower bound and the upper bound and plug those in. So let's do lower bound, which would be three times um, x of three plus five. That equals nine plus five is fourteen. And let's plug in the upper bound. So let's plug in the five. So that would be three times five plus five is fifteen plus five is twenty. So you'd be tempted to just pick the third answer choice and be done. And that is the correct answer here. Um, what's tricky, though, is making sure that you haven't missed something. So what this function looks like, 3x plus 5, um, if we plot it, for example, is it looks like, um, it looks something like this. It's a line. So when I plug in the, the domain 3 and 5, we know that's going to generate some lower point and some doo -doo -doo, upper point right so this is the range this is the 14 and 16 and sorry 14 and 20 when we plug in 3 and 5 and because this is a straight line in here you know okay um, I plugged in the 3 and the 5 so I know the absolute range of that but what if this function weren't a line right this isn't happening here but for the future in case this comes up suppose that you had um, a function that didn't look like that line what if it looked like this and it went uh, It went like that, for example. So you might plug in three, and you'd say like, oh, for three I got this point, and when I plug in five I got that point. So three, this three gives me fourteen, and five gives me twenty. So the range is fourteen to twenty. But really, the range is not fourteen to twenty because this middle part of the function goes way down low, and you might need to say, oh, it actually goes down to like negative two or something like that. So in order to get these questions correct and have high confidence. You need to um, plug in those extremes, like we did up here. But you also need to think about this function and ask yourself, is there something weird going on? Is there a, a part of that function where it really curves and goes somewhere strange? Because if there is, you need to figure that out, um, what that lowest point is. In this function, it doesn't happen. It was easy to plot. It was a line. So we're safe. But just be on your guard if that ever comes up.